Listen, I'm just showing you my teeth like that because there's something you need to know about. I just came from the dentist's office because I had to get my semi-annual tooth cleaning. And let me tell you something. Um, well, let's do a survey first. So raise your hand. Now do this, I know it's a YouTube video, but raise your hand if you like going to the dentist. Okay, so if we're looking around the room studying everybody, if you are the dentist, put your hand down. If you work for the dentist, put your hand down. If you're the dental hygienist, put your hand down. If you in the dental training program at your local high school, once again, put your hand down. Now wait, who still got their hand up? Oh, okay, well you people are sick. That's what I'm saying right there. I ain't trying to be offensive, but this is what just happened to me. I went to the dentist, and I don't mind the dentist. I like people, um, but there's some problems with that. Number one, how are they going to try to carry on a conversation with you when they got your hands and all this little toothpick-looking things that's made of steel that are piercing your gums? How are you about to try to have a conversation with me? I mean, please, please limit your conversation to things that are yes or no answers. And preferably not ones that make me shake my head no, because that crap's going to hurt when your little instrument sticks me in my gums. I do not appreciate that. But I appreciate having clean teeth. I mean, I do. I do. I probably need some whitening, but we don't talk about that. But listen here what I'm about to tell you. <clears throat> um, I then went to the dentist. I took off, took off early. I had to um, save up some comp time so I could have some extra time where I could take off so I could go to the dentist. And I went to the dentist and then what happens next is they get over there and they didn't clean my teeth. Well, you know they don't guilt trip you because you don't floss enough. Okay, have you ever been to the dentist and they say, wow, you floss amazing. Raise your hand. No, that ain't me. They say, girl, you need a floss. I'm like, I know. And then I do the little dance thing, you know, the little floss. And that doesn't work out so good, especially on a close-up YouTube video. I was doing the floss at work the other day, though. I was getting my office involved, and it was pretty awesome. So, yeah, I need a floss. And maybe I'll consider getting a water pick because I guess that's, like, a reasonable substitution for flossing. Whatever. I know I need to do better about my dental health. And I always, on the day after or the afternoon after or the next week after my dentist appointment and for, like, the week before my next appointment, I'm really good at flossing. Like, I try hard. Even using my little electric toothbrush or whatever, you know, it's like the whole time. It's so great. And I, like, hold it there forever, for days. So, anyways, I'm such a great dental patient like that. You're welcome. So, anyways, here's what the problem is. After I answered all the questions, uh-huh, uh-uh, and felt so guilty, guilty, like bad guilty about not flossing, like I knew I had this dentist appointment, they done sent me a text. Listen, they done said, hey, girl, hey, don't forget you got an appointment six months from now. Hey. Um, that was my neighbor. She just went by honk the horn, like totally, totally messing up my video. But it's cool because I'm nice like that. So, anyways, they didn't, they didn't send me a text reminding me of my next appointment. I guess they're trying, maybe they'll send me a text every week and I'll just keep flossing. I should tell them that, see if that improves my dental health. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. So, anyways, um, so at the very end of the treatment, she comes out with this pack of stuff. Wait, hold on, the light's bad. She comes out with this pack of stuff. It's like a little tray. It's like one of those wide popsicle stick things. She didn't come out with that, and she said, hey, do you want to do this fluoride treatment? And I'm like, okay. I mean, do I need to? Well, duh, if she's going to lecture me for 45 minutes about how I need a floss, I'm sure she thinks that I probably need to do that fluoride treatment. That was a dumb question on my part. Of course she's going to say, yeah, girl, you need to do that. You need some fluoride up in there. So it's supposed to harden the enamel that's on my teeth or whatever enamel might be left on my teeth. So um, I said, okay, cool. So of course it's an extra charge and I ain't, I'm not hating on that because it helps my teeth. Because one time when I'm old, I still want to have my teeth. I still want to be able to eat. I don't want to be on no pudding diet. Although if it's good pudding, I'll eat it today. So um, anyway, so she put this fluoride crap. Well, here's what happens. If the lady who just cleaned your teeth, she got to take a piece of gauze and lightly dry off your teeth so she can paint on this fluoride stuff and you get to leave it on for four hours 
I'm gonna tell you right now, that did not happen at these teeth. But they want you to leave that mess on there for four hours. They paint it on, and once they paint it on and you close your mouth, your natural saliva activates the compound in the fluoride, and your fluoride then turns into this like semi-hard, waxy-ish kind of stuff. You know, like, like birthday candles. So you have birthday candle wax filling stuff all over your teeth. And, um, yeah, that's, mm -mm, that's less fun than I thought it was going to be. And then, you know what makes it worse? Listen, you got kids, you were, you were a kid one time, you got a dollar store. You know when you go to the dollar store and you buy the little, uh, chapstick stuff, right? Well, at the dollar store, you get, like, ten packs for a dollar. Seriously, why do we do that? It must be nasty if it's ten cents a piece this day and age. So the strawberry chapstick stuff that's at the dollar store, that's what this crap tastes like and they put on your teeth. And it's not called strawberry. I forget what she told me, it's called mountain berry. Well, are those strawberries? Cause it smells like a strawberry. But it, um, it's disgusting. So she put that on my teeth. The saliva activated the stuff to set up on my teeth where it turned into birthday candle wax drip um, like what happens when you sing happy birthday and except it's on my teeth. I was so disgusted and grossed out. Now this, mind you, after she's already picked at my teeth with the chisel and that little spiny thing and then they go around and look at your teeth and count how many whatever's in between something on your teeth and your gums and the bone and you know your brain cells and stuff like that and your eardrum. After they do all that and then they say bleeding well, no kidding, you just like took a chisel and a spike to my teeth. What did you think was gonna happen? Of course you're gonna bleed, cause I'm alive. I'm alive and I'm breathing and I take oxygen into my body and my lungs process that oxygen and give it to my blood. And my blood in turn stays red because I am breathing, therefore I am bleeding if you stab me in the gums. So that's what you need to know about that. So if it's not bad enough to get that gritty stuff on your teeth after when you know, they polish your teeth, then they put that floor hook up on there. Mm -mm. I had to leave and go to Lowe's. I did not make it to Lowe's and I was serious gag reflex people. So here's the point of all this. If you go to the dentist on your semi-annual trip to get your teeth clean, or maybe you ain't been in 13 years, I don't know. But when you go and the nice little hygienist is talking to you while you can't talk back because you're like captive audience, you got nothing to say, nothing to do. When that chick wants to um, finish up your thing and give you some fluoride, here's what you need to say. You need to say, oh wow, that's such a great idea. But um, I think I'm gonna pass this time, but thank you so much. And when she goes, listen, you real listen, you really need to think about doing this fluoride thing because it strengthens the enamel on your teeth. Because you know we gotta protect our teeth, right? We need them forever. Listen, that is a guilt trip manipulation ploy that they use to try to do something where they can laugh, like Whoopi Goldberg laugh in The Lion King. You know, when she's like the little um, laughing hyenas and something happens, she's like <laughs> No, that's exactly what that is. Cause she's gonna laugh at you later cause she knows you got candle wax stuck to your teeth and ain't nothing you could do about it. So you can just politely say, no thank you. Like, I appreciate you offering and I really care that you care about my teeth so much as you do. But um, I'm gonna have to pass this time, okay? Thank you so much. And when she goes, no, you really need it. Say, no, really, I don't want it. Um, as a texture thing, like I don't care for it, even if you never had it, just listen, I would lie to you. I would not lie to you. And you just tell them that. And then when they say, really, you need to have it, I'm highly recommended it, then you need to say, um, get the behind me Satan because that crap on your teeth is gonna make you say ugly words. And if you don't wanna say Satan to start with, then when she says you really need it, you just say, oh, hell no. Nah. I ain't doing that. I don't want that shit on my teeth. Listen, I don't even cuss, but I've been cussing all afternoon. And I done come home and brush my teeth again. And like, they're like this and getting clumps of this waxy junk off my teeth. Mm-mm, don't do that. Listen, you're my people and I care about you and I appreciate you. But I'm gonna tell you, do not let them put that fluoride on your teeth. And for four hours, pff, 
give me a break. That ain't about to happen again. That was a once in a lifetime experience for this one right here. Okay, well listen, brush your teeth, floss, get a water pick. That's what she told me. She said, you might consider getting a water pick. I'm like, you might consider rinsing and spitting because this junk is nasty. But anyway, so get a water pick, brush your teeth, floss your teeth, go to your annual checkups. Do not, listen, do not get the fluoride painted on your teeth. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye.